Okay, everyone. Welcome. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Joanne Kurtzberg. I'm from Duke, and I'm president of the Cord Blood Association. Um, I want to welcome you all on behalf of my co-chairs, Karen Ballin and Marcy Finney, um, to our third in-person but fifth annual uh, Cord Blood Connect meeting. Um, and I know everyone is um, excited to be back in person um, in Miami without a hurricane, um, <laughs> which we always worry about. Um, and um, uh, we have a really great meeting in store for you. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of overview and thank a few people um, who have helped us pull this off. Um, first of all, our sponsors and um, Cryocell is our platinum, CBR and Viacord are our gold, and Gamita Cell, Mesoblast, uh, NMDP be the match, stem site, and Vita 34 are our silver. And we thank them very much for making the, giving us the support to make the meeting a reality. Um, we have an exhibit hall, which is where uh, I think many of you had uh, breakfast. And please visit the exhibit hall so that you can um, interact with our exhibitors. Um, we have many partner organizations who have uh, given their support uh, for the uh, concept of having the meeting and we thank all of them. And of course, many of you who are here are members of these various organizations. Um, we have people here from at least 25 countries, um, including the Ukraine. Um, which I think is quite remarkable given all the challenges of traveling these days. Um, and, and the challenges just generally in our world these days. Um, and um, we have some sessions focused on that um, over the coming few days. Um, again, I want to mention and formally thank Karen Ballin and Marcy Finney, who have been the co-chairs of the meeting and who, with their committees, have put together the wonderful program that you'll uh, be exposed to over the next couple of days. Um, the scientific program committee, which was led by Karen um, and Nairi Elwood, um, had the members listed on the slide and put together really a great program. And then the technical and education program committee, which was led by Marcy and Irina of SIVA, who really wanted to be here, has sent us all many emails wishing us luck, but couldn't come in person, but I know is with us in spirit, um, put together the technical program. Um, I want to call everybody to uh, the fact that everybody's attention to the fact that our last session um, is going to be with um, Delia Efron, who is an author. You may know her because she wrote the movie You Got Mail, if you're a rom-com kind of person. But she also had leukemia and a haplocord blood transplant and is doing well and wrote about it in a book that's called Left on Tenth. And she is going to be with us virtually, but up there on the big screen in person um, on Sunday um, to talk about her experience. And I really think it's, she has a way of expressing things that's really lets us know why we do what we do. Um, I also want to uh, formally mention that Larry Petz died um, in June. and. For those of you who've been with um, Cord Blood for a long time, you know that Larry was really, probably he's the reason we have this meeting and we have the Cord Blood Association in that he started something called the Cord Blood Forum way back. He also was um, a, a leader in STEM site. Um, and um, before we had the Cord Blood Connect meeting, there were um, meetings um, that was a meeting called the Cord Blood Symposium, which was really the predecessor of this meeting. Um, so I, he had a long, active career devoted to hematopoiesis, hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, and cord blood transplantation. And at the end of his career, was very focused on using cord blood uh, for treatment of patients with HIV because you could collect, uh, select sorry, CCR5 negative uh, unit donors. Um, so I really wanted to formally recognize Larry. Um, I also want to formally thank 
Alan Lehigh and Dieta Waldock Snyder, who are meeting organizers and are the reason you are sitting here in the room and had breakfast and will have all the meals over the days and you have your badges and you have your books and you have your, uh, you know, whatever those things are called, your bags that, uh, that you're going to carry your materials in and really made everything happen. You wouldn't be sitting here and we wouldn't have a program or any of the things you need to have to have a meeting if it wasn't because of them. I don't know where they are. <laughs> oh, they, I see Dieta back there. Okay. All right. Now, this is a surprise. Um, at least, I hope. Um, Alan, I don't know where you are, but I need, oh, there you are. I need you to come up for a minute. Um, we decided, <laughs> we, we have a tradition of giving a Cordla Association Lifetime Achievement Award. And Hal Broxmeyer was our first recipient, or I'm sorry, Eileen Gluckman was our first recipient who's here, and Hal Broxmeyer was our second. And now Alan is going to be our third. And Joanne, this was not part of the agenda. I know. <laughs> I'm supposed to know everything that's going on at this I know, <laughs> but it got added. So, Alan, I am very proud to give you this award. Um, Alan is the whole reason we had the Cordial Association. It's the whole reason we had the meeting. Uh, I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for Alan. Uh, and it's the whole reason that we exist. So I really wanted to recognize that and um, give him the third annual Cordlet Association Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you. Have a night. Thank you so very much. Um, you know, you people are the ones who deserve an award for all you do for, for saving people's lives and, 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 and making people who are very ill comfortable and, and have a fruitful life. And I applaud all of you. I don't do anything in comparison to that. Um, but I got to tell you, this person here, if you can imagine of all the, the skill and time that she puts in every year and multiply that by five or ten, you probably still wouldn't actually know how much she works to, on your behalf. And it's been such a pleasure working with the board of directors and with you and all the other officers. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, I also have to, well, we have, we'll wrap it up for you, and okay. unless you want to hold it. <laughs> sure, I'll take it. <laughs> Tina has this stuff. Okay. This, is, this goes with it. It's All just right. a little present for having fun when you retire, ah. which is the other announcement I have to make. Alan is retiring from his job as executive director, which he eight years ago said he would do for one year, <laughs> but has done for all these years, because every year we say, oh, please, another year. But he really has earned his retirement, and we want him to have fun when he's there and doesn't have to worry about it. That's great. Thank so you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Thank all you. Right. Thank you.